Hi, my name's Tony Signal. I'm a theoretical physicist here at Massey University. My particular area of interest is particle physics. That is, what is it that makes up the universe we live in? In fact, we pretty well know that everything that we can see in the universe is made up of electrons and quarks. You probably haven't heard of quarks, but they sit inside the nucleus that Rutherford discovered almost 100 years ago now. Every nucleus consists of protons and some neutrons, and quarks sit inside the protons and neutrons themselves. Every proton has three quarks in it, the same with every neutron. So they're the fundamental uh, building blocks of matter and of the atom. What we don't understand is the real nature of the forces that exist between quarks. Most of the forces that we see in the universe are really electrical in nature. In the things that are holding trees and uh, grass together, they're all electrical forces. What we know about electrical forces is that if the electrons, say, get further and further apart, the force between them becomes really weak. Only when they start getting very close together do you have strong forces. Now quarks are exactly the opposite. To help me show what the forces between quarks are like, I've got Adrian here who's a PhD student. Now the forces between quarks are actually a bit like the forces on the end of a spring. When the ends of a spring are close together, there's almost no force between them. However, when you start pulling the, spring, the ends of the spring apart, the force grows and grows and grows and grows. And in a proton, that could be a force that's equivalent to about the weight of a car. What our team at Massey is doing is using a supercomputer to directly model the forces and the interactions between the quarks inside a proton. Because these are so large, a computer is the only way that we can actually physically understand them. We, after many days of uh, data processing, we can actually begin to start seeing pictures of what is actually going on inside a proton. Okay, I'm here with one of my colleagues, uh, Francois, who's a French scientist, and he's done a lot of the numerical co uh, computation uh, if, of this work. What uh, he's showing here for us is a little animation of what happens as you try and pull the quarks in a proton further and further apart from each other. We see that when the quarks are close together, the proton looks nice and spherical. However, as you pull them, pull them apart, the proton loses that spherical shape and becomes more like a Y. Now, in nature, normally, the forces between objects don't act like that. Between electrons and, uh, and protons in the atom, say, the forces are just in a straight line. There are never any Y shapes seen. So what we've calculated here is actually how the energy and the forces between the quarks are changing as we pull them apart. This is very much like what happens in a, in a high energy experiment that's done at, a, at, the, at the very largest accelerators in the world, where one puts a lot of energy into the quarks and is trying to uh, separate them out. At some point, our calculations must break down when the quarks are very far apart and they can fly off. The spring basically breaks. However, we're unable to put that into our simulations at the moment. We're working on doing that now, and hopefully with about 10 times as much computing power as we currently use, we'll be able to show that as well.